Want to make a podcast? Spotify's got a platform that lets you make one super easily, then distribute it everywhere, and even earn money, all in one place for free. It's called Spotify for Podcasters, and here's how it works. Spotify for Podcasters lets you record and edit podcasts right from your phone or computer, so no matter what your setup is like, you can start creating today. Then, you can distribute your podcast to Spotify and everywhere else podcasts are heard. Video podcasts are also available on Spotify. With Spotify for Podcasters, you can earn money in a variety of ways, including ads and podcast subscriptions. And best of all, it's totally free with no catch. Ever since I discovered Spotify for Podcasters, I feel like I've been having a lot more connection with my listeners through the Q&As and polls. I highly recommend you give it a try. Download the Spotify for Podcasters app or go to www.spotify.com forward slash podcasters to get started. A quest is a search for something. And every week, the Quest podcast will show you how we know what we know through interviews with people that have incredible stories of dedication and perseverance. I'm your host, Todd Fisher. Join me in this thought-provoking and inspiring podcast of discovery. Find us anywhere you listen to podcasts. everybody. Welcome back to the Religious Hippie Podcast, the podcast about being a young Catholic surviving in a secular world. This series of episodes is all about girl talk. Join me and my best friend, Chloe, as we give our best girl advice and answer your questions. Welcome back, Chloe. Thank you so much for having me. I'm really (laughs) excited to be on here again. Third time. Very exciting. Third time is the charm. Did you bring your Polaroid? No. So we're going to have to do it on your mini print camera. I know. I'm out of film. Every, Every podcast... We take We've a done Polaroid. So far. We've always taken a Polaroid and I post it usually. I'm so sad. It's okay. It's okay. We'll do it on your mini print. Do it on my mini print. It's about the same. I love it. So yeah. welcome back. Lots thank of crazy you, stuff you. has happened since the last oh, time we had our podcast. Oh boy. And um, <sighs> so I guess per usual, we're just gonna kick it off right away with our confessing and blessing. You want to go first? Let's do it. You want to go so, first? Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, so a few weeks ago, I don't remember. I think it wasn't last week. It was the week before. Uh, I lost my wallet. <clears throat> Very unfortunate. It, at the end of the day, really. I do blame myself because, you know, I chose to go out and get tacos at 11 at, in the evening and I had no right to do so. <laughs> so I, and I was, you know, on the phone, I was distracted. And so I lost my wallet. So that was really, really <clears throat> unfortunate. It, uh, <laughs> that was very stressful. Right. And then uh, I got a replacement uh, wallet. I had to get my keys, my car keys replaced and everything. Uh, but thankfully I still had my phone that was not in my wallet. Right. Uh, so then I went to church you as, know, you do. as as one does the following Sunday. Of course. Uh, and I chose to leave my replacement wallet and my phone at the end of the pew. Mm. Uh, now you, I do do this quite often, you know, as I've done when I go to church and a lot of women do this, a lot of people do this. But I, I do think my guardian angel tapped me on the shoulder that day, though, because when I went up for confession, I remember looking at my phone in my wallet and I went, hmm, I really hope this doesn't get stolen. Which, first of all, <laughs> first of all, if you have that thought and then you leave it, don't do that. Yeah. Don't do what I did. Yeah. Uh, just be, even if you don't have that thought, because uh, that was the first time I've ever had that. And uh, yeah. So I went to confession and then I went back. I was walking past the pews and I thought, "Uh uh-oh, someone really did take my things. Eh. It's gone. And I sat in the back, of course. So I was more vulnerable that way. There was not that many people. Right. Totally gone. Had a meltdown on the church stairs. You know, it was upsetting because not only did that person have my phone because I had to get a new ID because I lost my other wallet. They had my address, my cash, my new car key which was very expensive to replace. And then guess what was on my car key? My house keys. So, you know, just that was really awesome, reassuring and fantastic. And I was also, again, very upset at myself (laughs) for the second time that week. So that was just fabulous. We, (laughs) but I feel so, you know, so I, I do confess I, to kind of circle back. <laughs> I confess that, that I made some, t- some two very unfortunate decisions. Now, was it my fault that that person chose to steal it? No, no. but at the end of the day, I learned something, right? <laughs> and, <laughs> 
And then the ushers at the church at St. John Cantus are just fantastic. I love them all so much. And they helped us track down the guy. You know, we did find my iPhone. He biked it 40 minutes way down into the city. Uh, he took it to a sketchy neon lit phone store. So clearly he was yeah. trying to get it erased or unlocked. So I just eventually had to erase the data. We never ended up finding the guy. Uh, and he has all of the other things. So I feel grateful that I had, you know, people there to support me, people who were there to drive me home. And I, one of our really dear friends, a couple with three beautiful children, they run a rosary baking group at St. John Cantus. The husband of the couple came over. He switched our locks immediately. Mm, that's great. You know, okay. the, the mother came over. Um, <laughs> it's Daniela and Carmelo. Yeah, I love They're them. They're really incredible. Sweet. So, you know, Daniela was here, just moral support. They're amazing, you know. It was just, it turned into a really good memory for me, although it was a <laughs> despite really, the, <laughs> despite the um, unfortunate circumstances. So there's that. Yeah. Oh, and then just to kind of end it all out, the wallet that I originally lost, my mom was in the garden and she goes, um, what is this? She lifts we have these bricks in the garden that are like three big bricks connected into one. So yeah. they're a big, it's a big little slab of brick. And my wallet was underneath there. Interesting. So someone found it. We don't know where. And instead of, you know, doing what a normal person may do. Like ding dong on the ding door. Ding dong, put it in the mailbox. You guys got to set up some security cameras. Or just maybe, <clears throat> yeah, or even just put it, you know, in the yard on a table. But to put it in the furthest corner of our yard, underneath a brick where truly you would never see it. Yeah. It, you could tell it wasn't meant to be found, in my opinion. I mean, they could have at least put <clears throat> it, like, by the door. Maybe, Just something. Or in the mailbox. Right. In a mailbox. In a like, mailbox. how easy is that? That's what I mean. So that was a little sketchy, because I, tr- I don't know who. Nothing was missing. I just find it bizarre how it was placed. Yeah. You know, it's one thing if you tuck it underneath, like, a, you know, a water pot. Um, or like a an, flower pot or yeah. something where it's sticking out but they put it all the way underneath something where so weird and it was really weird so yeah but it didn't matter because that card was voided you yeah know, my, <laughs> that car key didn't work anymore because i had to get a new one you know like, yeah. uh, what's it called key reprogrammed fob. my key fob reprogrammed so that one wasn't working so but you know what at the end of the day <laughs> that was something so i confess i made some mistakes but there were some good things that came out on the end. So it kind of became that. like a confession into a blessing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. The fact that like, girl. And then I think, what was it? The Knights of Columbus also ended up paying for your new phone too, which was really yes, sweet Yes, they did. Because they took, the guy took my phone and my wallet. Yeah. And so, um, and I, of course I was really stressed too. Because during this time, my phone st- stopped working actually. Half the screen like was like, not working. It wasn't even working. We couldn't communicate so, with her for like right. forever. So it was really hard. And so uh it, it ended up and that's how god amazing. said you're getting a new phone yeah he's like, this is happening one way or another <laughs> so that was a really good blessing to have so yeah well it's yeah. wonderful well what's yours mine's a little less crazy <laughs> <laughs> i'm happy for you <laughs> um well for <clears throat> my confession i've been kind of spreading myself a little too thin in a bunch of areas um i'm doing full-time college i'm babysitting uh it's kind of once a week but she kind of calls on me every now and then so yeah um it, I babysit for four different families um so all of them kind of call on me in different times mm-hmm. and so there's that I'm trying to run my ministry full time and we're working on a bunch of stuff behind the scenes so that can be exhausting mm-hmm. and overall it's I just feel really spread too thin because I really value the time I can get social with like people you know, like with friends and things, but I really only get that maybe once a month because not once a month, sorry, once a week, Mm -hmm. because even like when we hang out, like we hang out, but usually we also have to do something like a podcast or like something businessy, you know? And so, um, usually when I do see my friends, it's not just to like chill. It's usually because they're helping me take photos for something Mm -hmm. or, which is like amazing. I love having friends like that because something where it's not correlated to work. Yeah, Yeah. exactly. So I'm usually always doing something with friends that correlates to work. Like if I get coffee with Francesca, it's because I want to know what kind of, you know, um, stuff she can make for rosaries or, you know, it's always a business meeting. It's not necessarily like, Oh, Hey, like let's just catch up. Right. So that's kind of exhausting. So I'm leaving 
well, by the time this podcast comes out, I would have already come back from Delaware, but I'm leaving for Delaware tomorrow and I'm doing a talk at Delaware University about like social media and mental health and my own experience, how I became the religious hippie. So that type of thing. And I'm really excited for that. Um, but I'm so stressed because of like, I feel like my, I haven't, I haven't scheduled my life greatly in the last month. It happens. It happens. I know, but I feel like I, have just uh, yeah. yeah, like I'm trying to do my time management like I have in the past. And I just feel like I keep getting thrown loopholes with like family drama yeah. or like something going on. Mm -hmm. And so it's really hard for me to kind of like stay focused on one specific thing. And yeah. now that classes have started again for Understandable, school, yeah. it's just a lot. Mm -hmm. And so when I get back from Delaware, um, I'm going to definitely like reorganize and reprioritize certain things. Mm -hmm. So there's that. I've been spreading myself way too thin. My blessing though is... Say it! <laughs> So I met a guy <laughs> <laughs> and oh my gosh, he's amazing. Like, Love him. He's so fantastic. Um, and we're still kind of new to the dating thing. She just lit up, by the way, everybody. You cannot <laughs> see this. She she gets so cute and blushy and giggly. It's adorable. <laughs> <laughs> the vein is popping in your forehead. <laughs> I literally can't help it. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. He's literally the sweetest thing ever, and he treats me really well. Oh, oh, okay, sir. Somebody needs Let's to put a muffler up in these suburban streets. <laughs> Somebody needs to put a muffler on their car. Goodness gracious! And um, so he's just the sweetest, and he treats me really well, and he's a convert, and I'm just like really happy. Love that. Probably the happiest so I've been in like a really long time. I really do love it. I ship you both. <laughs> everybody did. Yeah, everybody. We were the we only ones. We all saw it. We all saw everybody it. Everybody saw it except for us. And then, it was well, like, of when. we both liked each other. Well, right. But it was just the fact that, like, we weren't sure if the other one liked Right. Us, That's you always know, like, the game. Yeah. And so all of our friends knew, though. Oh, yeah. Because we were talking to you guys. Oh, yeah. And then you guys were Separately, like. Separately. And then all of us were like, oh, my gosh, just let's get this <laughs> just over. Do over. it. <laughs> So we are officially dating and he makes me really happy. And so happy for y'all. I'm just so excited. So it just goes to show that when you stay close to God, he really does put the pieces in place. Yeah. I don't know how to explain that. He, when, you know what? And it goes to show though, it's really hard to close doors that you know need to be closed, but you really want to stay open. Mm -hmm. But when you follow his plan, you know that you have to either cut certain people out or just make certain decisions he will open the right doors and this right. is just one of those things where he's opened up a really good door for you yeah you and know? i'm very happy so Ooh. that's my blessing love that they're less crazy but like <laughs> there's nothing wrong with that we you know it's not a competition it's just happened to be a really and plus you were updated all along the way so it just happened to be yeah you know one of those few weeks few years it was one of, <laughs> it's been about three years <laughs> about three years of you know have you seen those um chaos <laughs> those tiktoks where they're like that one friend where they always have a tragedy going on just casually all the time yeah and they're just like i'm fine and you're like they just can't catch a break i'm that friend um, pff, it's so true <laughs> though the fact this girl the stuff that she's gone through like i won't talk about it on here but just the fact that it's like every single week it's like there's and it's not even that I try to make it happen like I I, I really and I don't I complain about it either it's just it just is and yeah and, <laughs> it just it just is guys. it just is that's just how some people are and you know a lot. some of us go through um <laughs> a lot things faster than I don't know how to explain it it just stuff happens in life you know yeah and I mean the fact <laughs> of the matter is is that it's when hard things happen though when it rains it pours you know right, right. I it's just the fact that it's like everything seems 10 times harder whereas if you were in a better like mindset yeah those things probably wouldn't have bothered you as much right. but like for me specifically like that's what I do right. like when it rains it pours when I what was it like a month ago or not maybe it was a month ago like I can't keep track of time I was going through like a lot of emotional stress trying to keep my a business month. above water yeah. my ministry above water I was trying to get my spiritual life in order. I was going through a lot of like tough friendships and it was yeah. just a really, it was a big mess and I got sick yeah. and I was just like, that's that it. That was the breaking point. I'm done. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, so I had to take a break in order to just kind of compile myself and like reevaluate. And even before getting sick, like there was a buildup. Yeah. You know, 
there was definitely like a lot of stress there mm-hmm. because I was anticipating like school starting and it's always the anticipation that gets me yeah. I don't know if any of you that guys is what it is yeah, yeah I don't know if any of you guys feel that as well but the fact that like when I'm in the moment I'm fine. Mm -hmm. It's like tomorrow when I leave for Delaware, like right now I'm completely comfortable with that. I'm fine. Mm -hmm. I, because Todd walked me through it. Like we went through everything. Logistics are done. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, it's just kind of like that. But like a week before I was completely freaking out being Mm -hmm. like, oh my gosh, I'm going to mess something up. Like, I don't know what's going to happen. Like, do I have everything prepared? But then I'm like, oh, I got everything. Mm -hmm. Like I'm good. Yeah. Um, it's always the anticipation that trips me up and I just do that with everything. It's become a pattern yeah. and it leads to like a procrastination where it's not until like the last minute yeah. I actually get stuff done. Right. Right. And sometimes, you know, I'm one of those people too, where I'm the most productive at the last minute. However, I do, I stand firmly in the last minute method, but there is such thing as a too much, meaning the last second. Right. So, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, do we both do that? Ooh, yes, yeah. probably. More but than we should. Uh, I probably do it a little bit more though. So last minute can be really great and fruitful and productive, but to me, there's a difference between last minute and last second. Yeah. Because then last second, you didn't even give yourself a last minute chance. Yeah. You're cramming way too much to the point where it's unreasonable. Yeah. Then it's just last second. Does Which I feel sense? like is what I do. Yeah. Because it's like, I get so stressed out. It's like, I start kind of planning things, but it's not until it's down to the wire that yep. I'm just like typing out a hundred page paper. like. Blah, yeah. blah, blah. And then it's just, it's stressful where it's, it's not productive. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like trying to combat <clears throat> that is really hard because part of me, like, it's the physical part of it. If I don't wake up in a productive mindset, I'm rarely productive. Right. And most of that has to do with, okay, well, I won't go on my phone right away. But here's the thing is most of my work is on my phone. Yeah. So usually what I try to do is I start my morning in prayer instead. It's hard to separate. And that, yeah. Yeah. Because also it is hard to separate like personal prayer and relationship with God versus my ministry. That's something that I've struggled with is trying to be like, okay, I'm going to church. I don't need to post about it. Right. You know, right. and it's not like I'm posting it out of like, no, oh, look bragging. what I'm doing. It's just, you're trying to inspire others. Right. Right. But I'm getting so like used to that, right. that I'm like, now I can't go to church without taking a picture. Hard to have your own personal experience alone with God. Having, right. having that private <sighs> intimacy mm-hmm. probably is hard to, 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 sh- it's struggling because- and- it's struggling. It's what? it's a hard time. Guys. It's struggling, <laughs> roughing. It's roughing and hard. Yeah, yeah. We're rough we love in it, English. Guys. Um, <laughs> English. <laughs> Sometimes I'll say things, and in my head, it makes so much sense. I do that all the time. <laughs> and then I say, and I'm like, "Yeah, so did I pass the fourth grade?" <laughs> <laughs> Lol, no. Yeah, okay, absolutely. Also me. <laughs> Also, yeah. Also me. Look at us. I feel that though. I mean, that's the <laughs> hardest part though about being like a, I don't like a social media influencer slash communicator. communicator. It's just, yeah, I know. We're not supposed to use the word social no, media it, influencer. No, it, it's just. It's so funny. It's funny, but it's true. It's true. You're a communicator. Yeah. And so I don't know. That's one of the things I'm trying to navigate is figuring out the balance between it because obviously I want to inspire people and I do need right. to keep you guys updated because that's literally my job is yeah. to keep you guys inspired and keep you up to date with what I'm doing and all those things. You and that's really yourself inspired. Though. Yeah. And right. that's really important to me, but I'm inspired by the people who follow me you know, because they're always sending me wonderful messages and emails and being like, oh my gosh, you've helped me so much. And that yeah. inspires me. Um, but I also have to make sure that I'm not being, I'm not doing these things for social media mm-hmm. just because I have to post it. Right. I want to make sure that I'm actually doing it out of my heart because I love God. You want to share. Yeah. yeah. And I think a lot of times after doing this ministry for almost three years, sometimes that line gets blurred a little bit mm-hmm. where I'll be like, am I doing this because like I'm doing it for God or am I doing it just to post it on social media right you have to be able to decipher okay am I posting this out of a a, an obligation that I feel I need to fulfill or just because I'm inspired and I want to share right and it's okay to do both but when you lose the inspiration side and you're simply doing it just because of an obligational reason then that's that's when you know you have problems right and that's what's kind of been like happening so trying to navigate that's been a kind of weird And it's just been kind of like odd, but then again, I mean, with next year, I have quite a few trips coming up as well. So I'm trying to figure out, okay, what can I do now to prepare for those trips? So Mm -hmm. I don't have the same, like, 
like crazy and mo- yeah the crazy reaction, reaction. Yeah. <laughs> yeah and I think most of that is literally just finishing it before it even starts yeah you know so working on the script like months in advance yeah you know doing all those things like definitely not the night before yeah even the day of yeah I think we had a day of incident we definitely did have a day of this not work. I was like cr- like I was, it like, happened <laughs> it happened and, and we're and we're not doing that again no. you know <laughs> I mean it wasn't horrible like I, you did it it worked it worked but at the same time it definitely was not as comfortable not as some of my other talks were right when I actually prepared ahead of time right right um and so that's definitely something that I'm learning about myself is that I like to procrastinate and that is a toxic trait <laughs> yeah well and you know procrastination at the end of the day is stems from anxiety yeah it does because you kind of shut down like my I'll shut down I'll kind of my head my brain will go blank and Mm -hmm. I'll just be like I don't Mm -hmm. know what I'm doing Mm -hmm. because I feel like I'm gonna mess up or something but in reality what's what's actually gonna mess me up is if I don't do these things on time right exactly so it's just better to get it done ahead of time it's just like a double whammy yeah (laughs) just like (laughs) I'm gonna mess up if I work on this but then not working on it is the reason I'm messing up exactly so you just have to be able to put those thoughts aside like no I'm just gonna get this done and it's going to be fine. Bada bing, bada boom, baby. There it is. <laughs> That's how you hustle. There it is. There it is. <laughs> oh, man. That's crazy. But I, you just started a new job. I did. I can't believe, first of all, I'm just about to say, I cannot believe that, I don't know when this is going on, but I cannot the believe 11th. that Thanksgiving is in two weeks. I know. Can we just say that? Yeah, first I guess First of can. all, what even? <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> this year has gone by so fast. I thought it was the 4th of July yesterday. We love 4th of July. July of 4th you know i don't understand <laughs> that was so dumb i just can't believe it you know it's uh, kind of crazy oh man yeah are we gonna start crying no okay <laughs> um and then, you know november I, I don't know i feel like especially sometimes some years feel longer than others some months feel longer but i really do feel there's something about this year since we're the first year that's quote unquote Normal. you know normal Since which COVID, it's not which is now we're, we're never going to be okay after that yeah um people are not okay uh, <laughs> we experience that every day every day uh, the instability is prevalent uh <laughs> however i just first of all what i'm really excited for this year especially for some reason is advent yeah i have this i have this uh inspiration inside of, I've never really growing up I because I'm relatively new to the traditional Catholic faith right I, you know growing up Novus Ordo right and so you know I've only been a part of it two years and so I don't know when I found out when I realized Advent was coming up in the next few weeks I just was oh wow I know I was exciting like, I was excited yeah and I'm really really I really want to be purposeful with it yeah you know in the way of course it's not the same as Lent but I want to be just as mindful. But we still have to prepare. You we know? do. And yeah. we have to prepare our souls. In a different way. Yeah. So I'm really excited about that. Yeah. Yeah. Do you guys have an advent wreath or like a candle? We do. Candle? We do. Yeah. Our, my mom brought me, bought me. I think we have a, quite a few. Okay. So I'm excited too. And, you know, hopefully, because I'm trying to find an apartment right now. Yeah. So as of right now, I have one in the works. And it's just a matter of if the walk- walkthrough goes well before mm-hmm. signing a lease. So you know, hopefully... I can set up my own little advent. I have a really cute nat- nativity I have to show you. Ooh. Because you didn't get to show, you didn't get to see that last year. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm excited. Uh, it's, I just think it's so important to keep, because the Christmas, Thanksgiving, well, okay, two different things, but especially, <laughs> but especially this quote unquote holiday season. Yes. Which, first of all, I don't like to, my spit just like flung across the table. That's great. Um, Delicioso. First, <laughs> first of all, for the holiday season, I really feel like it's so over commercialized. Yes. It's been happening like this for decades. Uh, but especially now, people are even afraid to say Merry Christmas. It's so sad. Or Happy Thanksgiving because you might, you know, offend the Native American tribes or whatever. I am legit Native American exactly. and I am not offended. You the care. people who are offended are like the people who are like, you're appropriating like you're appropriating <laughs> their culture and stuff but they're not even that culture and the people who are are just like right. if you're not being disrespectful we literally do like not can care. we just eat our mashed potatoes in peace i love mashed potatoes. you know what i mean i am a mashed potato oh yes <laughs> and especially since i work in the customer service industry and in the food industry uh you know i will i've started in the customer service industry two years ago almost three years ago now right and actually yeah it really it's been a long time it was almost three years ago it's been a while and i 
I like it as a career. I'm just one of those people. A lot of people, it's their worst nightmare, but I just love it. Uh, and I decided that this year I will say Merry Christmas. We're told, you know, the corporate corporations, they tell you, you know, you have, you, you don't want to, you know, risk offending anybody. So just say happy holidays. Hell no. Uh, but no, because then that implies, you know, Hanukkah and things like that. If you want to go do that, do you, you have free will, but I'm not going to change my beliefs, water down what I believe in and water down my pride for my faith. I'm proud to be a Catholic. Preach, babe. You know, and I will not, A, I'm not going to, you know, when people say happy holidays, I'm going to say thank you, you too, but I will say Merry Christmas. Yes. I refuse to, because last year, I remember I worked with a different company and I remember specifically actually getting anxious about saying Merry Christmas hmm. because I was again this was back with the masks though yeah uh so oh, things were this, already yeah. high strong but Merry Chrysler yeah Merry Chrysler I just <sighs> refuse to and if somebody's offended I'm gonna say you know but I well this is what I believe in you know and so you you have every you're right discriminating against me right that's, it's just right so uh hopefully I don't run into any issues but that's what I will I will be saying and I I won't be hiding that anymore so I'm trying to take little steps uh not to conform because we're in this world and not of it and so a lot of issues where we've run into is because we've kind of bent over backwards and just let people walk all over us uh instead of speaking up for what we believe in exactly and I just won't do I'm so tired of hiding you know I'm so tired of people getting away with bullying others down and making uh making people feel like they don't have a right to be to believe in what they believe in and it's especially catholicism we're especially targeted yeah you know i am i get so upset at work when people say omg out loud or jc right i hear it literally probably 50 times a day from and it's just from all kinds of people I always ask them, you know, Lord, forgive them for they do not know what they're saying. Yeah. Because if people knew the severity, they they wouldn't even dare. I usually, <clears> when <throat> I hear it, I'll say, Kyrie eleison, yeah. which is, uh, Lord have mercy. It's just, it's horrific, right? And so, you know, there's no other, people don't blaspheme any other, they don't say like, oh, Buddha, <laughs> you it's know? like, oh, my Buddha. Right. It's like, they don't say that. <laughs> no, they don't. Oh, my chakra or whatever. <laughs> like, oh. Uh, yeah oh my goodness that's insane yeah so or my oh my shala like n- nobody does that Shala. so yeah the whole my whole little point i'll wrap it up about the christmas season and the, hol- <laughs> the quote-unquote holiday season which just means to me thanksgiving and christmas is we all need to make sure we stand up for what we believe in and that we're not afraid to say something as simple as merry christmas right because something as small as saying happy holidays actually does make a big impact. It does, because it makes us lose sight of what, it sounds cheesy, the true meaning of Christmas it's is. It's true, though. Because it, it has is. Christ in the name. Yes. Chris, well, it's Christ's mass. Christ's mass, exactly. So it's literally Christmas is mm-hmm. Christ's mass. When you say happy holidays, you strip that. Yeah. And also you're secu- secularizing it mm-hmm. because you're afraid of offending others. But in right. reality, it should be those people who are afraid of offending god yeah but they're not because we don't make such a big deal about when people say stuff like omg or Mm -hmm. jc or things like that right we don't make a big enough deal when somebody says gd Mm -hmm. you know and we really should because at the end of the day it's like our responsibility as christians to stand up for god because we are his warriors and he put us on this earth to fight for him and his kingdom and Mm -hmm. his church Mm -hmm. and if we're letting little things slide when big things pop up things yeah, when mm-hmm. it's just That's like venial sins lead to mortal sins. Yep, yep. And so 100%. it's very difficult for us to, if we don't stand up to the little things, to stand up to the big things when the time comes. Yep. I mean, I definitely, when I came back into my faith, I was working at PetSmart. Mm-hmm. I remember. Yeah. Oh, what a throwback. Oh. That was awful. They played the same like seven <laughs> songs on repeat. And, like, oh, it's always the off-brand it ones was, like, too? The, no, not... no. It was oh, like it was the, actually the artist. I do my hair, talk, oh, check my not nails. Lizzo. Baby, how you doing? I'm I don't not know. doing well I... because Lizzo is on the radio. That's. <laughs> I'm not doing good. <laughs> It was so bad. And then they would play that. And then there was like another couple songs like Ariana's Thank You Next. And like, just like all of these like pop songs that I was just like, can I not have these stuck in my head? Yeah. You know, and they played the clean versions because they were on the radio. We had like a specific like PetSmart radio. But during the holiday season, we would always play Christmas music. Yeah. Um, 
and sometimes we were if it was early enough in the day we could hook up our own phones and like play our own music yeah but as soon as the store opened we had to go back to the normal music um but I remember singing like Christmas carols like opening up at like (laughs) we would open the store at like 6 or 7 a.m and we would just be stocking stuff and people wouldn't even be in yet Mm -hmm. and me and one of my favorite managers he would just start a song from Mm -hmm. across like the building and then I would just start it too and we would just be like (laughs) jamming to like some Christmas music we made up it was wholesome but um in general though like when I would start seeing people and stuff there was this one woman who came in to PetSmart and she bought something and what she said took me completely by surprise Mm. which is interesting it wasn't bad oh okay what happened (laughs) Chloe's like I'm ready for something bad I'm ready to throw hands No, so she comes up to me and this nice little lady, like mm-hmm. she's sweet. And I'm like, okay, did you find everything well today? You know, the usual stuff. She was like, yeah, I package up her things. And she, um, she starts to head out. She's like, God bless you. And I was like, Aww. and I was almost taken by surprise. Yeah. Like I was like, she said, God bless you. Right. You don't, don't hear you that You don't anymore. hear that. People did used to say that though. Yeah. Even 50 years ago. I mean, when you go to the South though, you hear it a lot. Like, yeah. They're like, oh, God bless you, sweetie. I mostly, okay, hear, bless, that was bless your, I mostly hear bless you or blessings to you. Bless your heart is like, a, <laughs> that's like, oh, bless your heart. Some, some people genuinely do mean it, but then the, it's hard. The, Karen, <laughs> like, the okay. seven Karens have taken it over. They're just like, oh, bless your heart. Yeah, you want some sweet tea, baby. Just, but it's just interesting it's to me. For me so because it's like <laughs> such a ghetto accent <laughs> the fact though is that she said it and it inspired me to start saying it mm-hmm. so we have the smallest thing can have the biggest impact on somebody it really can because I was so afraid because obviously working in a secular you know organization pet smart most corporate they had it's lgbtq dark. pride stuff out oh, in you know was it june or a july rainbow dog toy yeah oh no. and like costumes for your dogs and it was weird can we not <laughs> dragify our dogs <laughs> no like does your Where chihuahua does really stop? have to be a drag queen yes. when it where's the line the line is crossed this is why you know when mary you know came to us when in fatima fatima, fatima also she was like, like y'all are about to dragify your chihuahuas this is enough <laughs> this, this is we're done <laughs> i swear i'm not watering down what she did but i'm just saying you know it's just <laughs> you're done <laughs> this is just ridiculous at it this is point. at this point and so having somebody say that and like she didn't it wasn't bold it wasn't like it was just god sweet. bless you and right. our fam like it was out of control yeah. It, yeah it was just like god bless you and then yeah. she left and i was just like so now i started saying fresh. that yeah. yeah and then it's just like, I started saying that. And what are people going to do? They're going to be like, that offends me. And I'm like, well, that offends me that you think that that's offensive to you. <laughs> <laughs> just be like, well, you're okay. offending me when you're offended. Just be like, have a great day. Bye. 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 No. Also, I'm going to upcharge you. No, I'm just kidding. Right. <laughs> I'd have to go to confession. But um, Coupon denied. Oh, no. So sorry about that. Oh, well, <laughs> I guess you're going to have to talk to my manager now. Oh, wait. I am the manager. Psych. <laughs> um yeah that was a wholesome experience yeah that is nice though it's those little things where you never know what place that person is in in their life you don't know if it's the best day of their life or the worst day day. and you don't know one little act of kindness really can as cheesy as it sounds really can affect a person right but it wasn't even like an act of kindness it was literally just like a god bless you like it wasn't even like oh my gosh like how are you today it was literally like just something clearly that she's been doing for years and it she didn't even think twice about it But if you think about it it is an act of kindness Mm. because you're showing christ's love you're showing the love that we're called to share with others oh i see what you you know what i mean yeah yeah yeah. Mm -hmm. uh but i see what you mean it didn't seem overtly like she was just trying to be nice right yeah 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 fallon's going nuts in the background Uh, the cat fallon oh he's ghetto cat that's all right though (laughs) He just does his own thing. And he's my sister's cat too. So, you know, she raised a sassy boy. That's for sure. He's he's a black cat. Yeah. And he likes to bite the necks of the other cats. So I called him Damon Salvador because- Yeah, Vampire Diaries, for yeah. those of you that know. I had to watch that show. show. It's awful. Do not watch it. But so funny though. It was, it was hilarious. <laughs> Watched it in high school. I had to watch it in college. I actually had to watch it this year because my teacher wanted me to do a character analysis on the people. And I was like, all right, Elena, victim. Stefan, yeah. she wants Stefan to save her. Damon saves her instead. Ew, no, I wanted Stefan. Damon kills everybody. Stefan, I don't deserve you. Goes on a killing spree. Like, Mm -hmm. bro, like, Elena, 
just leave. Like, this is not okay. It's well, These shows are so whack. They really are. It explains why our generation The amount of money that up. goes into these shows, these Well, because movies, they know that it's going to be like- It's going to sell. Well, sex sells. And they're and this girl's in high school, if you think about it. These vampires are like literally- Thousands, thousands of years Thousands of old. years. Thousands Where are her parents? Old. Oh, wait, they're dead. <laughs> that, yeah, they are dead. I didn't mean to laugh Her aunt Jenna- <laughs> laughs at dead parents <laughs> sorry what a bad example like, <laughs> no but it's so and then so jenna creepy. dies and, her yeah. aunt jenna who's her guardian oh and... my gosh and it's just like she's supposed to be 17 are you yeah. kidding me yeah when she's, i was 17 yeah. oh no when i was 17 i had blue hair we don't talk about that oh uh, <laughs> but we just did we just so did. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like the fact of the matter is is that we call Fallon, Damon Salvatore, that's the because point. Yeah, he it, bites the necks of the other cats and he has these fangs that come out of his teeth and that's he does. and he's black and so we call him Damon Salvatore. Damon Salvatore. So there's that. And I heard important. that Ian Sol- Summerholder or whatever his name is, mm-hmm. um, the guy who played Damon, mm-hmm. he runs his own brewery company with um, the guy who played Stefan. You're kidding. It's called Brothers Brew and it's supposed to be like really good. <gasps> that's so funny. Isn't it? Stop. I, I love it. friends outside of the show. I honestly love it when celebrities like they have their fame for a little while yeah, whatever but else. then they get married yeah. they settle down they have a homestead and then they decide to do a brewing company yes. like that's so amazing and he's all about bone broth so i love him for that yeah. yeah and it's like we might not agree with certain celebrities politics or things like that but we can always see some good things that they've done yeah you know like um i'm uh, over gwyneth paltrow though can yeah no I, g- I agree her that's insane. her um candle i will not say the name there are young listeners as well as uh yeah her now she has a watch she just some people truly it's just any money grab they could get they They'll use their fame for, for that versus you know for the like you said brothers brew which is super cute you're putting in your money and you're starting an honorable business and you're just working hard and you're doing it that's cool yeah you know i mean do they absolutely have a, a blessing of an opportunity because they have the funds to just do that yeah, yeah. but still it's really great it really but is it's the fact that like they're able to mm-hmm. live like such a silent life whereas like you still see like annalena jolie on the front cover of like the latest magazine and annalena? like annalena Mm. (laughs) is that her daughter (laughs) oh angelina yeah yeah yeah. and like brad pitt or just like all these people like they're always on the front cover of the magazine like they just can't keep themselves out of the drama yeah and yeah okay it has to do with paparazzi but part of me is like so why isn't the paparazzi after like ian and like the guy who played stefan and like it's just interesting they were different calibers of celebrities though i know they really were like they're (laughs) a-list brad pitt and angelina and but the, you know not that they were low mm-hmm, you know mm-hmm. i forgot what it's called b-list actors it's not that, you know yeah. not c-list or but they anything. weren't in like any huge movies they or, really like, weren't so yeah. they didn't even have you know once their show was over which was quite a while ago they didn't really do anything else and they yeah. made so much money where personally i don't even maybe they were just done and yeah. the show was on for almost 10 years i think maybe even so maybe they're just like they're like we're done thank you but like that's the thing where i I was just kind of like i like it when celebrities do that it because he's married to somebody who i believe is not a celebrity no and like he runs his brewing company now and he just seems like a normal dad yeah you know yeah Yeah, yeah. i don't know if he is a dad or not i don't know he is but i love when celebrities do that like um i can't think of any others maybe like patrick swayze before he died but that was sad that was very sad i had a huge crush on him did you yeah i had a i had a huge crush on patrick swayze tommy shaw leo howard Mm -hmm. um ross lynch (laughs) oh my gosh speaking of crush this is so random i had a dream last night what candy crush no that was a good guess go on i had a dream last night and there was this real this is literally all i remember is that i was like together and dating this really really handsome guy uh, he was very he was a very specific type and i remember what does he look like he no <laughs> I, <laughs> well, maybe i can find him he's for not you. real he's really not he was fake and the, but i remember though he was getting into a car he was trying to fix an issue maybe it was jesus and as he went <laughs> <laughs> sorry maybe uh but he, as he got in the car and i remember he had these bright and now i won't go into the description of this man but he's not the kind of guy that will wear what i'm telling you he got in the car and the car door was open and he had these bright bright red oh. loafers on oh. and no i just was the aesthetic was the absolute opposite uh why he, did your brain think red loafers was it, it was that a red converse i can't remember Still, though but i remember being so puzzled like sir who whom sort of isn't like Hello? Who, 
who allowed you to do that <laughs> that was really strange that's all i remember i love that so Hello, thanks for letting me sh- this is i love how chaotic this podcast has been so this is far. why we have like the catch-up episode and technically we're at our end so. technically yeah because yeah, it's just good to have finish. just to catch up you know those transitional periods can get yeah. kind of weird <laughs> and also it's like we wanted to talk about specific topics during the holiday season and yeah. we don't have anything just yet yeah um because it's you know veterans day is coming up or i think this is being released on veterans day actually. i think so yeah so thanks to all the vets out there we yeah. really appreciate y'all no, seriously god um, bless you yeah doing the gods doing the doing the god's work doing doing god's work i'm sorry i can't english but um <laughs> yeah so this was basically just like a catch-up episode yeah. we just wanted to kind of update you guys on what we're doing yeah give you guys some life some, advice some because- random rambles so so sorry if you've never seen the vampire diaries you're, you're why would you care you wouldn't please don't watch it though. don't watch even if you maybe just watch a clip and you'll understand what we're saying but definitely don't we don't suggest watching the show i know i watched it before my reversion in high school and oh i had so much conviction i had to go to like my spiritual director and be like i had to watch the vampire diaries for school and i don't know what it is to do it's really so silly it was stupid it was either yeah. the vampire diaries twilight supernatural or um there was another one that really was one of the better options compared to because well, i already watched like the other two and i do right. not like supernatural that oh, is no, actually, that actually like really, low-key really, really actually satanic mm-hmm. twilight i've watched and i cannot do a character analysis <laughs> on bella i <laughs> would die flat as cardboard that's pretty much her personality <laughs> there's nothing there her In personality her is edward but like <laughs> <laughs> sparkly and murder oh. sparkle sparkle murder Okay. Also, I just want to know why he wears sunglasses in direct sunlight and he doesn't sparkle, but he they, like they really were choosy. They picked they picked and chose, yeah. you know, when they wanted the sparkles to be a thing and when they didn't. Yeah. 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 They the were just like, this off. takes way too long to put on him, like whatever. But definitely be careful what shows and movies you expose yourself to. It's I do not care what anybody says. There are absolute portals in yep. some of those things and it can be very dangerous father of, talked about that yeah. with harry potter yeah it's very true and a lot of people go oh you know it's just i had an ex-boyfriend he'd be like really this he you know he'd play a song right and it would make me feel it would be very dark feeling mm-hmm. and i remember looking up the band and they were li- they would literally be like a satanic band yeah with uh uh what's what's the star symbol called uh the uh a pentagram. pentagram they'd have a pentagram on the album cover and i'd tell him i'd say do they literally have a pentagram on it he's like it's just art it's just their expression i'm like okay that's how you get possessed baby it's just you know so it's real it's very real uh so just be careful we be love careful that. out there yeah we, we love that you know yeah 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 well Thank you so much, guys, for tuning into yeah, this episode. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's been a pleasure. We'll be back with a more regular programming next week. Maybe we'll do some holiday episodes and talk about what we're doing, what we're looking forward yeah. to in the holiday season. Definitely. That type Probably of thing. some fun Advent topics. Yeah. Christmas. It'll be a fun little nativity moment. Yeah. I'm really excited. Yeah. And then maybe we'll post pictures, too, when this comes up. So, yeah. like, we can, like people can actually see what we're talking about with exactly. like our, our stuff so exactly yeah all right well we love you guys and love i hope you. this really helped any of you that just needed a girl talk because yeah. we know we did we, we did sh- we sure did if you couldn't tell <laughs> we were all over so. <laughs> <laughs> so i hope this um this podcast i hope you guys enjoyed it and we will talk to you guys in the next all right. one all right bye bye guys Thank you so much for listening to A Catholic's Perspective with me, The Religious Hippie. Make sure to visit my official website at thereligioushippie.com, and while you're there, be sure to sign up for my newsletter to keep up to date with my latest news and offerings. You can also find me on virtually any social media site as The Religious Hippie. Thanks for listening! Hi, I'm Father Daniel DePlantis, a Catholic priest, martial artist, and host of the Karate Priest Podcast. Have you ever wondered what the church teaches about different topics? Are you a martial arts enthusiast or just someone who wants to learn more about martial arts? I'd like to invite you to join me and many guests on my podcast as we cover topics of faith, everyday living, and martial arts on the Karate Priest Podcast. Tis the season to shine with H&M. 
Discover the holiday collection and find fashionable pieces for your wardrobe or for under the tree. Get inspired and dazzle with this year's glam. From tuxedo styles, bow detailed pieces, impressive prints, and more. From unforgettable looks to unforgettable gifts. With fashion finds to home decor, find it all at H&M. Treat your loved ones and yourself this season. Shop in-store or at hm.com. Thank you for listening to this podcast. Please be sure to rate and review this episode. This podcast is produced by Todd Fisher and Anthony Smith and is distributed by Metacortex Publishing. This podcast is copyright. Any previously trademarked or copyright content is used by permission. Information and opinions stated in this podcast should not be construed as medical advice. Please be sure and visit the official website for Metacortex Publishing at metacortexpublishing.com or find us on social media for other unique content.